How many of you wanted to be an artist when you were young? And how many of you know what does a curator do? How many of you know the meaning of a curator or for instance the spelling of a curator? A lot of people don't. So it's been 12 years of curating and uh, full time and I'm still explaining. So I thought let's educate you through this channel. This is Mary Hashmi and welcome to my channel. Well, the question is what does a curator do? And mostly we understand that the art is art, pool, patte, paude, or still life, landscapes, um, abstracts. I hear this word a lot. Is that's it, and there is not more than this. हम ये नहीं समझते कि आर्ट सीन चलता कैसे है हम अच्छे आर्टिस्ट बनते कैसे हैं वो सारे नौजवान जो कि बहुत मेहनत कर रहे हैं आगे बढ़ने के लिए उनको आगे कैसे बढ़ना चाहिए और बहुत सारे लोग हैं कुछ आर्टिस्ट जो हैं वो इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे पहुंच जाते हैं और कुछ आर्टिस्ट एज अ हॉबी आर्टिस्ट स्ट्रगल करते रहते हैं सो देर इज अ लॉर्ड टू नो एंड लर्न and uh, we don't have many opportunities to learn besides art schools but i understand a lot of you cannot afford that or go towards that or whatever your reason is even if you are just want to do want to do art as a hobby and want to know more about it subscribe to my channel i will bring you all of these informations in my episodes and more about satkan and as an art consultant i also run an art gallery so i will be explaining others artists work who are working and exhibiting internationally and reach it to this level of mastery so let's start it what does a curator do let's start with the spelling it's c u r a t u r not k u r a t u r so what curators do is we write a concept and then we execute it such as a director of a film write a concept and execute it so what do we do for example i thought of a um, concept called Bus Week in 2015. From writing a concept to selecting the artist whose work is connected with the concept. So um, I have to select those artists. Sometimes we do open calls, sometimes we just collect artists whoever we know or if we know their work because being a curator I have to keep an eye on art scene or other different artists work. I visit galleries, read about it, watch videos, everything as much as I can feed myself. So what I believe in, you create what you think and to think, to be able to think, you have to feed yourself. That means you have to study and read a more. So there is a lot of writing and a lot of paperwork involved. If you have heard about cataloging, there is a lot of cataloging of every paintings, medium, size, price. Whatever artist statement, everything is around curating. So yeah, it's kind of scary and it's kind of hectic as well because you are responsible for the display, for the collection of artists. The work has to be very good in good terms that it has to resonate with the chosen concept. It has to be visually appealing, amazing in everything. And it also matters that whose artist work are you exhibiting. So thank you for that. With gratitude, I say that I have exhibited a lot of renowned artists of Pakistan as well, such as Amin Gulji. Amin Gulji performed for Karachi Art Summit when I curated in 2017 with the Spaces Gallery. And he performed at National Museum for three hours. Yes, a show that I have curated with Amin. And then he had exhibited his work for another show also. This is a huge honor. There is another artist, Abdul Jabbar Gul, Masood Khan. A lot of, there's a long list and I've exhibited a lot of international artists as well. You can find my work online. My website is also in, under construction, but when it's up and published, you can easily find my work there also. There are a lot of publications of my work also. If you would love to read, you can read that. Besides that, a lot about writing and selecting artist work. We are responsible for having a good show. Show means that we have to engage public, invite public. Um, we have to attract them to come to visit the show. So there is a lot of PR, media, marketing, social media, a lot of things. It's about reminding, inviting, you know, initiating and encouraging them to visit a gallery. So next time when I am exhibiting a show, you must visit and watch because entry in a gallery is for free. You can see a gallery, you can go visit a show in a gallery 
for free. There is no fee you can, you don't have to buy paintings. You just go and have a look and learn a lot. Because visuals and art and poetry and music helps us think. It makes us human. Otherwise, jo baki sare kaam karte na, zinda rehna, uthna baitha, wo sare janwar nahi karte. That makes us different. In fact, animals do it more ethically. That's another topic. I have another series about motivational speaking. So I think I will talk about that in that series. Being a curator is also difficult because you have to have a keen eye on art scene as well. You have to approach artists also. There is a way of approaching that. Uh, you have to keep accepting new artists as well. I have promoted new artists as well who are now thriving in their uh, artistic career. So it's a lot of work. It's not a few hours work. It's a nine to five work. So if you are curating full time, then you are a full time curator. I've curated for I am Karachi. I've executed a project Mulakash, which was a public art project for them at the National Museum. I chose a team of five very talented artists and then executed that uh, over there. I used to do public art projects now. Then I did a cultural exchange last year for the Another thing is funding, which is very, very important. So curators have to approach sponsors and funding for that also for their projects. If a project is really good or the economy is good and everything is syncing with each other, then you have good funding. I have received um, Prince Class funding in 2017, but that was as an artist. So because as a curator, I was practicing that it has improved my practice as an artist. So that also happens and it really helps me to learn more 